Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to use the super duper um, clay gum from Scott Creek Pottery. I had someone ask me to show that on um, uh, my next lesson. So that's what I'm going to do today. What I'm doing is I've taken, gosh, probably half a pound of clay and I am going to wedge it up. What this does is get the air out of it. Um, this is a super duper clay gun from Scott Creek Pottery. It does save a lot of time from pulling handles. So um, this has a release button right here to pull back on the lever. Um, and then inside here is where you put the clay. Also, I've ordered extra handle dies. So these dies come from Scott Creek Pottery. You can see these. These came, the metal ones came with the gun, so you do have great options here to use. Um, these wood ones I ordered on the side, but these are really great dies. Also, they also send some blank ones so you can cut your own. Anyway, today I'm going to use one I've been using um, for handles. This is kind of a nice thick handle. Here, I'll show you. I've used it on on this guy here. So um, it's a nice thick handle. You have options for thinner ones and ones with um, grooves in them. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what to do here. I'm gonna take this guy and we're gonna put, it's very simple, we're gonna put our die inside of the top part of it. Um, roll this out a little bit better and I get any of the cracks out because that can show up while extruding your handle. So it's similar to what you're going to do when you are about to throw some clay. You want to get it all nice and even. All right. So just got to pop it in here like so. You've got the die in there. Attach the top. Remember this release lever's there. And then you push that handle in. And then all you do is pull the handle. And you pull it until you feel it coming out it goes. So I do about three squeezes for a handle. Just like that. see this well. One more time. One, two, three. That's all there is to it. There we go. After I get them out of the extruder, I form them up somewhat and let them dry in the handle shape, just like that. And then later you can attach your handle. Thank you, Scott Creek Pottery, for making handles easier to make. I still pull handles too, um, depending on how big the mug is, but you can always use this extruder for anything, for any kind of handle you want. Highly suggest it. Also, mine was getting stuck somewhat, and I called Scott Creek, and they told me just to apply a little bit of um, cooking spray in here. So that's what I did, and it's really worked well. Um, when you're done extruding your clay, always clean it out the best you can. Otherwise, the clay will dry in there and you'll have crumbs everywhere. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please um, like me on YouTube, subscribe, like me on Facebook and Instagram. And um, that's it. Happy New Year, you guys. Bye.